Hey guys, thanks for swinging by. I sure do appreciate it. If this is your first time with the channel, my name is Mark. Welcome to Fit and Fire. Let's get into this video. I am so excited to bring you a update video on my Jim Fuller build AK-74. This rifle right here is quite possibly my prized possession. Not only did I get an opportunity to spend a weekend with Jim Fuller and really pick his brain on just AK stuff, you know, gun guy stuff, all of that, but I was also able to learn how to pull one of these together. And there is a lot more to it than I had expected. But I've been getting hounded by you guys to do an update video to show you how well it's shooting and all of that jazz and I've been able to get it out uh, and shoot it two different times once just at the range to make sure that it's running the way I want it and then the second time I went down to Kalash Bash and competed in their AK rifle competition which I used this rifle and competed in the light irons division so what does that mean? Light Irons Division means that I shot either a 545 by 39 or a 556 uh, AK variant, and then I did not use any type of optics. I used iron sights only. So uh, that was a lot of fun, and I really encourage you guys, if you're into AKs at all, really need to dive into some of these um, events that they are having, like uh, Kalash Bash or Red October. Or, uh, Kalashmas, I guess is what they're calling. That's the next one that's coming up here in December uh, that's put on by Clayco and the guys down there. So uh, really good time. You guys will have a lot of fun. I guarantee it. Okay, so let's talk about this. Let's talk about what has happened with this rifle since I have gotten it back from Jim Fuller. Two things happened uh, when I left Phoenix. Number one was Jim finished the dimpling on the front sight base and the gas block. If you guys don't know, one of the processes to press these on back in the late 80s at the Ishmash factories is they would press these two components onto the barrel and then they would dimple the uh, two components onto the barrel. They basically crimp them onto the barrel and we didn't do that. We didn't do it for two different reasons. Number one, um, Jim didn't have the ability to do that. And number two, if you don't do it correctly, you can actually pinch the barrel and kind of obstruct that barrel, causing it to wear uh, faster than it should. So what we did do was we pressed this on and then we pinned them into place here and here and then he went in behind and made it look as if these were dimpled uh, like they would have been in the factory. And I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, a lot of purists out there would argue the point, and that's fine. You do it how you want to. This is how I did it. So that's the first thing that Jim did. And then they put this really nice semi-gloss paint on it. And this is going to be the same type of paint that they would have used in Russia as well. He used a local facility in Phoenix to do that. I don't remember their name, but it is in the other video. If you guys are interested to see how this got pulled together, I do have the original video, part one, whatever you want to call it. I'll have a card at the end so you guys can check that out. Um, it, it was a lot of fun, man. Such a great weekend, bucket list item for sure. And I'd encourage you guys to invest the money and go out and see Jim and build your own. That is something that would be really, really cool. Okay, since I've gotten it back home, the only other things that I've done to it is I've added a cleaning rod because uh, it didn't come with the kit that I purchased. I've added a sling to it and set it up into the... Um, stow position right this is how they would stow their slings and then as you can see right here i have added a triangle folder pouch for tourniquets cleaning kits stuff like that so um that is basically it as far as what has happened to this rifle in getting it to me since then i've taken it out to the range two separate occasions one uh, was just to make sure that it's running just fine and then the second time was again down in Kalash Bash in early October to shoot in their uh, competition, and it has run perfectly. I've had no issues. I did have one minor, one minor hiccup, 
but that was not anything because of the rifle. I had a round separate uh, as it was extracted. So after one of my shooting iterations at Kalash Bash, I got done shooting, everything was fine, and I unloaded the rifle, charged it to eject the round that was in the chamber, and unbeknownst to me, what had happened was, as I ejected that round, it separated, left the round in the barrel, so in the next iteration, I loaded and the round wouldn't seat. Luckily enough, the round hadn't been pushed in too far or hadn't squibbed, so um, didn't have to worry about any damage to the rifle. Just punched that round, uh, that bullet out of the barrel and it ran fine for the last three iterations. So um, dodged a bullet literally on that one, but outside of that, it has ran perfectly. I have had zero complaints whatsoever. But enough of me talking, here's a montage. So there you have it. Uh, this will be probably my light irons competition rifle. If I do any more shooting competitions outside of Kalash Bash or Red October or anything like that, um, I probably will use this as well. So we'll see what happens in the future. More content, more videos will be out on this. I'll drop in some stuff on Instagram. So if you guys are not following me on it, me on Instagram. Go ahead and uh, swing on by and check that out as well. Man, I tell you, Ishmash 1988 AK-74. I'm still in awe at the fact that I was able to build this with Jim Fuller. And again, if you guys are interested, swing on by Fuller Phoenix, check them out, get onto their mailing list, and they're going to provide you guys as many updates as possible. So you can either get on the list to build with him or to send a kit in and have him build it for you. Either way, you're going to get an awesome AK. So appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for swinging by. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing kind of the evolution of this rifle and we will catch you guys later. As always, freedom through strength. Here comes a high five. Catch you guys later. Bye y'all.